Yeah, it's recording. So, right, yeah, we were on the doggy style joke. That's gonna keep me up at night. It's an honor to win. Being nominated is just a soul-sucking waste of time. Relieve the pain of vaginal itching? They don't even want to shake your hand. I love the role play where Charlie finds a way for... Yeah, for, for their mom to make it bad no matter how good it is, you know. I've discovered the cure for cancer. Wonderful, why couldn't you do it in time to save, you know, Uncle Something's left testicle? And it's just, yeah. It's a wonderful day to save that to his remaining testicle. Gordon played a pizza delivery man who Charlie couldn't give huge tips to. I'm glad that they let him play this as well. He's great in both roles. And I really don't think it's supposed to be the same character because he, the way he relates to Charlie is very different. You know, if, like, if it was the same character, then the first time Rose said, this is Gordon, you know, one of them would have brought up the, the pizza thing. And besides, now that, he, now that Charlie's rich again, he probably does order pizza and give huge tips. So, you know, in this universe, those two characters look exactly the same. Same as with Kimber and Candy. Is it? Yeah, it seems to be going as it should. Now. The life expectancy is now at 100 years. Wonderful. More time to be ignored by your children. Charlie nailed it. I need a healthy liver and there's a long listing, there's a long waiting list for both. Evelyn knew about the award and knew she could get Charlie to go. This, these awards aren't televised, are they? No. I guess they only show the important awards. Congratulations, you've just been elected this night's designated driver. You know, Mom, Archie's nominated in the same category as Charlie. I'll be rooting for you, Charlie. In the American way or the Australian way? First one, then the other. John really can sing. I quite like the various jingles on the show. Considering, considering them, it's a wonder that the theme song itself is so bad. And the backup singers. And Evelyn goes home with Char Archie, and Charlie's so bitter that he lost. Oh, why can't I just black out in peace? You're right, Gordon. Not do the right thing and kill me. Everyone listen carefully, because I'm pretty sure I'm only going to be able to say this once. If you kids don't make up, you're going to end up old, miserable, and alone. He's right, Gordon. Look what happened to him. And the real winner tonight? Charlie Harper, even with all the, you know. Oh, please, your grumpy Gus routine doesn't, good night. <laughs> and, you know, Alan doesn't just run off, he jumps over the railing off the deck. And, let's see. The spit-covered cobbler. Excuse me. I forgot my toothbrush. Can I borrow yours? Oh dear lord, no. <laughs> Do you know how many bacteria are in our mouths? How many? I don't know the actual number. Then why'd you bring it up? Poor judgment. Again, I get the hypocrisy. Alan, I see people all the time. They don't always tell you what they do. I love Candy's physical performance as she sings the PP song. Do you know how to start a 1981 duster? Yeah, yank out the 8 track and push it off a cliff. I'm gonna call AAA. Good, no sense drinking over this. And you know, Candy comes up and there's smoke billowing behind her. I don't think the engine's flooded anymore. 
Good for you. And the mechanic keeps misunderstanding and referring to something else when talking to Alan. It'd be cheaper just to get a new car. Oh, thank you, Alan. That's the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. Good for you. You want to see it coming or should I surprise you? When he's got the bat. Can I have some privacy, please? Sure, get your own place. Who told you to look at her wisdom teeth? That girl has wisdom teeth? How infected? Aim for the cheap seats. And, you know, Alan's law, you know, in this huge thing of coins. Mind helping me out? Sure. And he puts in a few coins. It's your ex-wife. Great. Get the bat. This is the bat. Alan is selling Charlie's golf clubs. I still have my pride. Wow, you really think that, do you? She thinks Gaspacho is Pinocchio's uncle. And then, you know, we, we're told that the coins are actually Jake's. All right, I'm listening. Are you calm? I'm listening. Who's going to have their spine adjusted when for half the price they can get their dingus dusted? I have no idea. It turns out I'm something of an expert. Why is mom crying? Because I'm good. I'm very, very good. And then Alan tries to pretend he's just a pizza guy in front of Judith, as if she couldn't recognize him just because he has a fake mustache and is wearing the uniform. And then, you know, she's like, you know, here, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you some money back because you're cleaning. And then Candy shows up and completely ruins Alan getting help from Judith by saying, you know, oh, it's the, the car. and the, Yeah. How's that pride doing? Nice to let you take a few home. It's in lieu of health insurance. Did you know they actually have a little machine that shoots the cheese into the crust? It's a little high-pressure gun. Can't kill yourself with it, though. I tried. You know what, Alan? I think you are the stupidest man ever to ever walk on. You're gonna have to talk into the other ear. This one's full of cheese. <laughs> Turns out they're not really brother and sister, so they started sleeping together. And, you know, the... Good news, the dentist says my teeth are all better, and she's, you know, she gets up over him, and she's opening her mouth, and her wrists are right there, and he just blurts out, Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you move in with me? And, you know, it's also like, if, if I paid for you to live your own place, you know, I'd have to sell, a, what was it? I'd have to sell a, a lung or a kidney. I'd go with a kidney because lungs don't grow back or something like that. And that brings us to the next episode. Golly Moses, she's a muffin. I really appreciate that Candy is in so many episodes in this season. I, I honestly, I, I always love seeing her character. Can't get laid, huh? And Charlie snaps at Alan. Was I that cranky when I wasn't having sex? You were more of a sullen whiner. Sophisticated? She's two marbles rolling around in a tin can. I stand corrected. One marble. Hey, I'm happy you finally found an instrument to play that isn't in your own pants. Because she just said, you know, I have to... You know, where do you go when you leave here? Uh, to the gym. I have to take care of my body because it's my instrument. I have a very strict rule about women in this house. They come and they go. Sometimes they do one of those things multiple times, but in the end, they always go. Multiple orgasms jokes past the censors. And Charlie didn't realize that his couch was, couch was reupholstered and gone for a month. Hey, wait a minute. Did somebody say Candy was living here? 
I may not have the biggest boat in the marina, but nobody rows harder than me. You have a boat? <laughs> Some of us don't want to hear about your little dinghy. I want to be alone. Okie doke. Come on, I think he wants to masturbate. <laughs> I mean, that is a pretty fair guess. The way things are going, you couldn't get laid if you painted your penis to look like money. Berta, is there anything you could be doing? Well, I could go rub some oil on her, but I don't trust myself. I never slept with brothers before. I mean, at different times. With Alan, it's like being in the backseat. Actually, let me see if I can remember what she says about Charlie. Well, with you, it's like Space Mountain. It's a good ride, but you're never in any real danger. With Alan, it's like being in the backseat of a car driven by a really smart kangaroo. He may go up on the curve a couple of times, but he'll get you there. Wow. And, you know, the, why don't you put some clothes on? Why? Yeah, she ain't hurting anybody. <laughs> Look, I don't mean to be rude, but yeah, I'm tired of talking to you. <laughs> and doesn't he just slam the door in her face? Yet again, very married with children. And you know, can't just talk about why she likes to. Well, unlike most ex-wives I know, she's never tried to run me over with her car. Homewrecker. Candy, what do you know about geometry? Well, I know it's what you say when you turn into a tree. Get it? G I'm a tree. You know the phrase, never crap where you eat? You, my friend, are dropping plunkies all over the dessert cart. And she answers the remote control and the phone rings. First one, then the other. And, you know, Charlie's going to teach a man to fish. Have you thought about teaching a fish to answer your phone? I love Berta trying to set Charlie up with a jailbird. Because it's fun to say chimichanga. Chimichanga. See? Not to be contrarian, but Alan, if you never order what you don't already know, you'll never taste anything new. Picture an entire day of this. With six lines. Hey Alan, is this a new lamp? <laughs> For a second you thought he actually cared about Alan's problems. Wow. You just crap where you used to eat. Alan and Charlie are both up at 3 a.m. The hell what is going on here is that I need an, you know, something. She needs, yeah, on my amelone. Okay then, good for me. I'm going to have to check your pie. It's rhubarb. Oh, my girls like rhubarb. There's a button by the bed. Push it if she gets violent. Boy, you really are having a dry streak, aren't you? I really love this actress. She was great on Popular. And then, you know, the she, she's, you know, the, the buzzer. And then instead, I, I forget, I think, it, is it the, the, I guess it's the, the, what's it called? The oven, not an alarm clock, the, the clock, you know, when you ring the bell to, to get into the, someone's house, you know. And then he wakes up, I can't even get laid in a women's prison. Several episodes in a row with continual storylines. And that brings us to Always a Bride May, Never a Burrow. How does a man sink this low? In all fairness, you had a running start. I was wrong. It's not the healing that begins when you say it out loud. It's the laughter. How many times do we have to go through this? Just until it stops being funny. You're welcome. As though he's sacrificing something for Alan. And as if it doesn't, didn't just fall into his lap. Talking about Mandy with Charlie. Hang on, not you, you let go. Come in, 
Are you decent? He's above average. What the hell is going on here? That's not a great story. Sure it is. It's already had like half a dozen, a dozen happy endings.